By request, this is a quick update on a blade that I made, and there's a video of it up uh, here. Oh, about a year ago, and this was um, made out of a lawnmower blade, and I was for my next door neighbor who is a big catfisher. And it's now been a year of fairly steady use. Um, and uh, the only thing he's done to it is he's got like a grinder with a, with a wire wheel on it and he's, he's gone and kind of taken some of the surface rust off of it. But other than that, it's, it's basically the blade is stock. He did take um, some sandpaper and modify the handle a little bit so that it fit his hand a little better. And in the process of that, he took the wood down, but didn't take the steel down. So how did it do after a year? Uh, he loves it. He was very reluctant to give it back to me for a sharpening and tune-up um, because he likes it the way it is. Um, but I am going to sharpen it. Um, and then there is one ding here and a couple little dings at the tip that I'm going to take out today. Uh, basically restore the blade to factory for him, and I'm going to take down the the spine there and some of the rivets where he was sanding are, are a little bit sticky uppy. One other thing, the handle construction method for this has been great for a chopper. Um, the pins here are riveted in and uh, even the little pipe deal is riveted in. But then everything is glued um, with a two-part epoxy and there's no looseness at all to the handle and handle didn't crack, everything seems okay. I'm not really making lawnmower blade stuff anymore, uh, but it was a really good way to kind of get started and make sure that it was going to be um, viable for me to make blades, whether I had the time and wherewithal and even uh, talent to be able to do it. And now I make my stuff out of like known steels. If you start uh, by making uh, stuff out of like lawnmower blades and files and things like that, uh, you're going to get a lot of grief from like real knife makers um, because like you're not supposed to do that. So like it's like an outlaw blade and they have very good and valid reasons for why you shouldn't do that. Um, it's unknown steel for the most part and so you kind of have to guess at the heat treat and in theory um, you're going to have all kinds of problems with edges and rolling and chipping and to be fair there is um, one little chip out of this blade where the guy swung it and hit a rock. I have a couple other examples of stuff made from unknown steels. So this one is uh, the first thing I ever made and it's a lawnmower blade parang that this, this one's had lots and lots of time in the jungle and all sorts of things. It's a few years old now and I've been very happy with it. There's no problems with the edges or anything. This is something that I personally saw being made when I was in the Philippines. Uh, it's a bolo style knife um, that they made out of a leaf spring and uh, it's really quite a beautiful knife. Um, they, they, they forged in a little bit of a fuller in the center and I saw uh, these you know knives of unknown steel being used by everyone down there and for some reason for them they're able to make it work. I have others uh, of this particular design like floating around and people tell me they're very happy with them. Um, so my data from using like unknown steel has been like you know decent and then the world data on using unknown steels like leaf springs and other stuff is actually decent too. But like I said you are going to invite uh, lots of wrath by making your blades out of unknown steel. Not that video views are the indicator of anything other than video views, but a question I have for other guys that make knives is, um, when you posted that video of you making your knife out of CPM 3X 2Ps, 4Z's, 187, uh, 411 steel. How many people were interested in that knife and how many people were interested uh, in that video? The video of making this knife as of right now has about a quarter million video views. So, you know, there's, there's like interest in repurposing stuff for whatever reason and right or wrong, people like it. Uh, and my data and my experience with making stuff out of unknown steels 
has been pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like some crazy fancy, you know, knife that you're gonna show at a knife show, but for knives that people actually use and use in a rough way, they perform pretty well. Thanks for watching.